Whenever you learn your brother and I is coming to town, we just personally get into the kitchen and prepare the meal. Yes, now. It's children we're talking about. <laughs> I don't chop me till later. Of course, I know that. Don't worry. In 10 minutes, I'll be done. Are you sure? I'll be done. Okay, then I'll be waiting for you in the meal. Alright. Alright, see ya. I'll be Ten minutes has turned to thirty minutes. I told you I need to rush no, out. Babe, I'm trying to, you know, it's your special. You know what? Um, I'll still eat that food, but let me go where I'm supposed to, please. Mm -hmm. Just keep it when I'm back. Home. Babe, please. Sorry, let me take this call. Hello? Yes, I am. Who is this? What? Where? What is it? How? What is it, babe? Okay, which hospital? Alright, I'm coming there right away, please. What, what is it? Please, what is it? Trudy was involved in a ghastly motor accident that damaged his car beyond repair. Jesus! No. I, I need to rush there now. Please, I'll see you when I'm back, please. No, 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 hey! Okay. Hey! Anoti! 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 Please. Watch over the kids. I thought something was on the fire. We're rushing up to the hospital. Be right back. Yes. So I, I cannot risk it, please. He's my only brother. I, I want to take him away from here and fly him abroad for treatment. Even if you want to do that, you still have to wait. You can't fly him out in this condition. Doctor, please, but can we at least see him, please? I'm sorry, ma, you can't. Once he's due for you to see him, I'll let you know. If only I can control his rigorous internal bleeding, then I assure you there's nothing to worry about. So please, just do everything you can to make him stable. I'm willing to write you a check of any amount you need. Just make sure he's fine. Please. God alone gives and takes lives. One thing I can assure you is he's still breathing and he's still alive. Please, do your best, I beg you, please. Okay. <laughs>
Judy, my husband asked us to go together. But I refused because of you. I want to remain here until you wake up. I want to be the first person you will see when you wake up. And I know that will be sooner than I expected. You are stronger than this. You are stronger than your pain. You are stronger than your fear. I've always known you to be a warrior. So fight. Fight it. Please, for my sake. <laughs> Where's the new boy? He's, He's coming. What's he doing inside? Sunday! Sunday! Adam. Oh, that's him. Okay, welcome, sir. You're welcome. Okay. Open the trunk, get the wheelchair from there, disembark it, and help him in. Okay, sir. Your work starts now. Okay, sir. Thank you. What about his house in BH? I've told his house boy and his security guy to just keep an eye on the house and take care of everything until he's back to his feet. I'll be paying their salaries from here. His office? 
What about his office? No, no, his office will remain locked for now. We're not worrying about work now, no. He'll be with us until he's strong enough to go back to PH, but for now, he's going to stay with us. <sighs> You're not sleeping. Babe. I'm not sleeping, I'm fine. Look at the time, you need to go to bed, please. Mm, I know. Time I take you to bed. The day is almost, almost breaking. I am not feeling sleepy. Just leave me alone. Yes. How was your night? Okay, I actually came to find out what you will have for breakfast. I don't need your food. Chudi, believe me, I totally understand how you feel. But you have to understand that Get we... Out. She... Get out! Jeez. Sorry. Judy something to take. Yes. Good. So how is he? He's fine. Thank God. I just hope he recovers quickly. And I believe the time will get over that. Oh, okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. He said I should bring him to read paper. Oh, thank you. Ago, how was your night? Excuse us. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything is not fine. Why? What's wrong? I didn't sleep a wink throughout the night. Why? I was thinking. About what? My children. Your children? Are you alright, children? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? See that I'll be my wife. Don't you dare. Step an inch out of this place. And you've told him what he needs to know. Mm. 
Fabian with you. My love. What's going on here? <coughs> I'm confused too. I don't know what he's talking about. What children is he talking about? What's going on? Uh -huh, I have no idea. Obviously, it's the effect of the drugs. You can see. Would you? Are we if you check it well. Please, in the name of God, forgive me. I will not intentionally put you through such. Please. In the name of God, for the sake of the children, for my marriage. What becomes my fate now? What is my lot now? I, I trust God. Let's keep believing in God. I know He will restore you. Please. Please, for the sake of the children. For, for God's sake, too. Really? Please. Judy, please. I need to be left alone. Ah. Get out. Okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Take my life. 
Listen to me, I have no idea of whatever he was trying to talk about. Obviously, his health is beginning to affect him. You can see it has turned him to a sadist. So, is that who you, you're trying to believe right now? Over me? You expect me to believe you? Sweetheart, you have to believe me. I have no idea. I mean, absolutely no idea of what whatever he was trying to talk about. Whether he has a child anywhere in the world, I, Juma, I do not know. Interesting. This man's sickness is beginning to affect him. You should... Sweetheart! Babe! <sighs> Oh, my God. 
How are you? Fine. How was school fine. today? School was fine. Good. Daddy. Yes? Uncle Judy said you should stop calling him uncle. Why? I don't know. What did you do to him? We did nothing. Although he was upset, he said that he's not our uncle, that he's our father. This morning. I will actually. I'm just trying to finish this chapter. How about the kids? Have they gone to school? Yes, about an hour ago. Oh, good. Have you seen Judy this morning? Not yet. Please, you should. Won't you eat today? I will do that right now. Let me go serve him his breakfast. Okay, thank you very much. has decided to let everything go. He doesn't want to talk about it at all. I am here to plead with you. Please, Judy. In the name of God, I'm begging you. Help me save my marriage. Let it go. Please. Let bygone be bygone. 
please, don't spoil my life. Now, do you want to tell me what happened? Baby, please, 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 please. Get away the gun. Please, 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 please. Yes, I will do. I will tell you everything. Will you speak? Jesus, 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 please, 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 please. No, 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 shoot me, please. Please, please, put away the gun. No, 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 please, 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 I will talk. There's nothing to be in that freedom, baby. What is the essence of my existence? When I can't even move. Brother, pull the trigger. No, 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 please, 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 please. Shut me! No! Kill me! I will tell you everything, please. Please, he's me. He's me. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious, baby. Is anything wrong in both of us? Going for medical checkup to find out what is stopping us from having our own children. Everything is wrong with that. I mean, this is just two years into our marriage, and you're already running helter skelter in search of the fruit of the womb. What's that? Baby, the whole weight is on me. I'm a woman. A lot of expectations on me. Okay? The earlier I start seeking for the solution to this problem, the better for me. As far as I'm concerned, there's no problem here. None at all. Baby, are you saying our inability to have our first issue since two years of being married isn't a problem to you? How is that a problem? I know we don't have any problem. We're both sound, so in God's time, we will have our own children. Please, stop worrying your head about this and go to bed. Oh. Ah. From the result of the test conducted on you, shows you are very much okay and fit to have a child. Yes. See, there is nothing wrong with your reproductive system. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, I will advise you to, to invite your husband for medical checkup. Doctor, the problem with my husband is that he doesn't like it anytime I speak to him about going to see a doctor to ascertain the actual problem with him. You see, that's my problem. Well, you must find a way to convince him to come. Yes, because most times the problem might not be coming from you, maybe from him. So you have to try, you have to convince him to come. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you so much for being helpful. Baby, I went to go see a doctor today. After a series of tests, he confirmed that I'm perfectly fine. And now asked me to bring you to come run yours. To bring me? On whose agreement did you go to see a doctor? <laughs> did you and I ever come to such arrangements? So, baby, I'm just... But what? Why are you trying to prove stubborn all the time? Since you have decided not to listen to whatever I say in this house, go ahead and do your will. Mtu. Ama. Please, what is the color of your problem? No, why do you have problem with literally everything I am doing to solve our problem? And I keep telling you that we have no single problem in this house. Abiyanuju, do not create one. Oh yeah? Oh, I see now. No, now it's clear that you are hiding something. Yes, keep hiding. <sighs> Me, I don't know what is wrong with you. If there's anything you are hiding, you better come clean. Just say it. Say it. No, this does not have anything to do with me nagging or stuff, right? I'm a woman. I just want to have my own child. Even if it's just one, yes, just like every other woman. How is that too much? No, how is that too much? To be honest with you, your absolute refusal to go see a doctor to know if there's any problem with your reproductive organ that can be corrected is a red flag. A serious red flag. It shows you are hiding something. Yes! 
because you are hiding something. My dear, it's obvious that something is wrong with him and he's hiding it from you. I know. Please, what do you advise I do? You have to bear your cross. You have to bear your cross. Hey. I say, will bear my cross. What cross? Eh? Look at me. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me. In quotes, I am perfectly fine. Look what this man is doing to me. Like, literally, everyone is calling me barren right now. What is this? I understand you very well. But there's something you need to understand. In marriage, there is cross to carry. Do you understand? There is a cross to carry. And you only have two options. Which are? Be patient with him. Convince him to go and see the doctor. Oh? Huh? Or you do what I did. And I am happy about it. I have nothing to worry about. No. Please. What did you do? No. Never. I love my husband so much. We can't betray our love. And something must be done. Yes, something must be done. Pastor. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I hope he's around. Yes, sir. Please call him. Okay. Please, what can I offer you first? I'm okay. Except for the King Joe. Just water. Cold water. Okay. I'll be right back. My pastor is here to see you. Your pastor? Yes. What business do I have with your pastor? I'm not a member of his church. Maybe. <laughs> well, you don't have to necessarily have business to do with him. He called me this morning saying that uh, he wants to see us and it's important. Tell him I have no intentions of seeing him. I should. Baby, you have to see him, please. It doesn't bite. Hmm? Baby. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? We're fine. <sighs> Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah. I was almost on my way to work when she told me something was saying. I hope all is well. Yes. Um, all is well. Good. Just that I have this leading of the Spirit of God to come and pray for you and your wife consigning the challenges you are facing presently. I'm sorry, sir, but we are not facing any challenges. I mean, the challenges of your childlessness for... And who told you we are childless? Um, yeah. Well, I know that... You know what? I have seen that you're one of those men who go about looking for whom to destroy. In the name of God, I will not let you do that to my home. Now get your butt off my couch and leave my house. Please take it easy, sir. I said get out of my house. Please take it easy. 
Well, sorry, sir. But the Holy Spirit. If you do not leave my house this moment, please, the Holy Spirit will shave your head. Get out of my house! I say Holy Spirit. Rubbish! Oh my god. Sweetheart, what happened? What's this? Hey. Let this be the last time you will invite this ragamuffins into my house again in the name of you looking for a child. The next time you do it, you will not just live with them, but I will make sure you never step your feet into this house again. Say it. it once and for all. I am here now. You're crying. What is it? Is it not your brother? Can you imagine he slapped me this morning before going to work? My brother slapped you? Hold on. Come here. Respect. How could you lay a finger on your wife? She deserves more than this now. Huh? How could you do that? But you don't know how lucky you are to have Ojo as a wife. You don't. You need to see how people envy your marriage. People want to be like you. People want to emulate you in your marriage. And here you are beating her up. Why would she go about soliciting sympathy from people over her childlessness in just two years? Isn't that too early? She's only being a woman. You and I know that the general pursuit of every woman in life is to have a good husband like you, then bear children for this man that they got married to. You don't have to be harsh on her now. I am this man in question and I am her husband. All she needs to do is listen to my instructions. That is it. Whether you have a good wife, Uju is exceptional. You need to see how women live in their houses with their husbands. Even our parents can attestate to her godly virtues. You don't need to be harsh on her now. Hmm? I've heard you Wifey, wifey. You know she does not do best. So this is this is a matching of the new instance. That is why I'm here to put you back in the mood for your laughing. Oh my God! 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 Well, anyways, I mean, I spoke to my brother. Hmm. And trust me, he regrets his actions. Uh, 
I want you to also help me finance some home while he has refused to see a doctor to help us explain the actual problem with this reproductive system. Because I don't know why something as little as that should bring a problem between a husband and wife. Wife, I must worry. Please, everything will be sorted out. Okay? To be honest with you, I am actually very worried. Very, very worried. Because it's me to act like I see if there's something he's hiding. No, because this is very simple. Why would something as little as that cause a problem between us? Life is not hiding anything, believe me. It's just some men are usually in the structure. They don't even go for this test completely and go to the shop that there's something wrong, it's a problem. Let's just say when they come into bring their lives. Okay? What if there's actually something wrong? Not all the wrong. Trust me. Right? You see, my brother is of European and it's different language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Honey, sweetheart, I am deeply sorry for today's incidents. It was not my intention, honestly. You know I'm not a violent person. I'm sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I promise it won't happen again. Please. I love you. Love it. Let's go to bed. Oh my God, sweetheart. You cannot believe this. Like, I'm still in shock. Do you know for the very first time your brother, my husband, yeah. apologized to me? Yeah. This is something he has never done since I married him. Like, how? I know. But I told you. I told you. <laughs> my God. You must have really spoken some sense into him to be able to convince him because that man, I'm sorry, are in a serious war. Yeah, yeah, they are in a love and hate relationship. It doesn't come out of his mouth. How are you able to convince him? Okay, let's say I deserve a trophy. Seriously, you do? I told you I have the key to oh, everything. No, I believe you right now because I've seen. Yeah. I'm testifying. And you're happy. Oh, I'm so happy. You grin from cheek to cheek. Thank you. <laughs> and please, do not tell me you're still going back to PH today. Yes, I have to. No, so that you no, 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 I have to. Why, if you please? Go. Please, can you just do one more day with us? Wifey, stay today, you go tomorrow. Wifey, I'm having my monthly meetings, monthly office meetings tomorrow. And I already told my brother that I'm leaving today. And I have to be there. Yes. Well, you know, you, you are the boss. You can always change it. Hmm? And as for my husband, I know what to tell him. Why, why, why are you always please. doing this? Why are you always... This is a very difficult task, but... Please, it's not it's difficult. Okay. It's... I'm just asking for one more thing. Alright, so since it's coming from you, my favorite wifey, I give it. <laughs> you know, I've already told my brother that I'm leaving today, but it's okay. You are not leaving today. You are not leaving. Wait, let me go make your special for you. I believe you. <laughs> my only wifey. <laughs> The only wife I married from my brother. <laughs> you amaze me most times. How do you mean? How can you leave your brother at home all alone with your wife? <laughs> this guy, you know well, Lou. Uh -uh. How can you even conceive such a dirty thing in your mind? <laughs> is that what you think? That is what it is. 
We're talking about my brother, my blood brother. Listen to me. Trudy will be the last person on this planet Earth to even think it, let alone do anything like that. Come on, stop, stop imagining things. To trust nobody. <laughs> brother, I grew up with this guy. I know him like the back of my palm, okay? I can vouch for him. I can even stake my dollars. That's Judy. Will never think about doing something as dirty as that. So bring your minds out of the gutters. Well, uh, takes a man with no experience to make such statements of yours. Judy, there's something I am trying to understand. You came from the same womb with my husband, but yet you're totally different. Wife. Such is life. Well, if you have not heard of that saying, and they saying, one mother gives birth, but created by a different God. Have you not heard it? So that is it. You're right. Because you are very caring. It's fun to be with. Unlike my husband, who is totally mean and cold. Oh, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> please, please, please. Listen to me, it's my husband. Oh, it's a case study. Yes, you know, sometimes I try to, 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 to understand him from his own point of view, but at the same time, it's difficult. Yeah, it feels like an inherent trait, yeah? I don't know. He, he's just totally different from you. Huh? Maybe. Just maybe because he has made a lot of money. This does not have anything to do with money. Listen to me. He feels that money is everything. That with his money, he can make a woman happy by buying you whatever you want and, you know, like anything money can have. But that is not what every woman, I mean, my type wants from a man. Like yourself, you are very caring, fun to be with. You know how to make a woman happy. That my husband, he doesn't have time. All he thinks about in his head is money, 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 money. Here yeah, I am thinking I'm following his footsteps. I'm actually trying to copy my elder brother. Please don't copy him. <laughs> You're such an angel, a sweet one at that, please. Okay, don't worry, wife. I'm sure with time he will change for good. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> It's not going to change. It doesn't look like it's going to change. Like I said, it looks like an inherent trait. Something he was born with, you know? You know what? I still love him like that. So he doesn't have anything to do with money. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wifey, hold on. Are you sure? Because there's this general perception about women. Every woman loves money. Yes. Tell yourself the truth. Are you sure? Excluding me, darling. Truly, excluding me. Because if it's about money, I've got a whole lot of men who would willingly want to give me money. Yes. Uh, but of course, you know, not in this family. And not in this house. <laughs> you are here to stay, not because of money. No, I'm not thinking to what. That's what I'm saying. I love your brother for who he is. But... It doesn't change the fact that he's very mean. It will change with time, don't worry. <laughs> You're basically ignorant. The truth is, um, <clears throat> I have set up a business for him in Port Harcourt, a new business, and I got him an apartment worth about 70 million naira so that he can start his life. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, we are just the two sons our parents had, and we suffered a lot. At some point in our lives, we could barely afford a meal a day. So now that God has blessed us, it's only proper that we enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's my only brother, so I need to put him through. Well, uh, you're a man of a golden heart. Just keep doing what you're doing. Sure, definitely, I will. I need to tidy up with this, tidy this proposal and send it out before the end of work today. Okay. So, let me be honest with you, right? When it comes to love making, your brother is minus zero. 
I'm sorry, not sorry. This is the truth. No, that's not true. Ah. Don't say that. My own brother. I know that. I can't believe you. You don't believe me. I don't believe you. Wait a minute. I am telling you right now, as his wife, the only thing he knows <laughs> is to jump in, jump out, back and forth. He doesn't care about parenting, foreplay. He is nothing but a selfish love maker. No, I don't care. It's not about himself. He wants to get himself satisfied. He doesn't care about whether the wife climaxes or not. He can go there, but climax anywhere. None of his business. No, he has to change. <laughs> ah, yes, he has to. Because a woman who, who has a beautiful and sexy woman like this, he's always, as a matter of fact, he's going to satisfy himself, doesn't he? So I'm pushing you into this presentation. <laughs> yes. Well, let's say because he has confidence in you, you feel like. As a wife, I would never cheat on him. And talking about changing, it's not going to happen. Because do you know how many times I've tried to get adult movies for him? Like, I tried to force him to watch it. He trashed everything. I actually bought them with my money. He trashed it and told me never to ever bring it up to him again. No, my wife, you don't have that. You're still very young to be not very inside of you. He doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, now I see the reason you said we are two different people. I'm to see. You see now? Because you see me standing over there. Any woman I make love to, we won't forget to see my problem. Yes. You see, my ex is that married. They keep calling me. And you see, my husband is quite different from you. He doesn't know how to take care of his bed. He doesn't know how to do this. He doesn't know how to do that. They keep reminding me of my late making promises. Because you see me here, I can make a woman come again and again. So don't worry, I'll talk to him. So, what do I help you? What are we doing? Fried rice or fries? Oh, gosh, I'm going to ask you something. Wife. <laughs> hey, Judy. I yeah. hope your bag is in the car already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll be waiting. You are going. When next are we seeing you? Ha. I don't know for now, but <laughs> it's, it's not a problem. That sounds like forever. Ha. Wifey. Not to worry. Eh? <laughs> she and I will be coming home for Easter to be with my man, Papa. Hey, she's Easter. Yes. And then good then. Easter. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Easter is very far. Eh? No. Maybe he should pack his bag and come live with us permanently Make in this house. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a very good you idea. Don't, you don't want to live with us. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to get Why? you. <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> don't worry, I'll miss you. You know what? Brother already said Easter, we're going to come. So we're going to see Easter. And that period, I'll be able to spend like four, five, six days or more days with you. Okay, with you guys. So they shall we? Yes, of course. I'll see you guys. <laughs> 
coming here because it's so calm yeah you know we hear the sounds of the water and all mm -hmm. that hey, so then what are you doing for your trip uh i'll let you know when i'm ready <laughs> why can't you let me know now um because i'm not certain yet i have a lot of busy schedules on my decks i need to clear them when i'm done i'll be able to know okay this is when i'm traveling or not okay <laughs> Hey, this reminds me. What? The vlog of my wife is for the past two days. I'm sure she'll be mad at me. You and this your brother's wife. You've not told me what is going on between the two of you. Do I... Do I sense jealousy? Jealousy? Me? Jealous of who? A married woman. <laughs> ah, well, at least... Oh, yes, at least she's official. Hmm? And she's le it's Lego. You, you're an official, though. You know that. You're just being fiancé, fiancé. Well, anything can happen tomorrow. So you, you better, you better to stop being jealous now. See what <laughs> I know. Just a minute. <clears throat> hey, wifey. You see, Chidi, I am done and dusted with this thing, with this sham marriage. Alright? You and your brother have succeeded in pushing me out. I am leaving him for good. Okay? Yes! What is it? Uh, 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 hold on. 
Are you crying? Are you crying? Listen to me. Please, please, please. Don't even try to patronize me. No, don't pretend like you care about me or you don't know what I'm talking about. You know every damn thing that is happening. Alright? Wife, you know I care a lot about you. You know that. Hmm? You're my one and only wife. Here. My only senior brother's wife, you know that. But it's okay. I... I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm not. I've not called for the past two days. I know you're mad at me, but please, I'm so sorry. I just had a lot of busy schedules, you know, office things, work, and all that. So I needed to clear them off for, you know. Listen to me. It's obvious your brother just wants to go for the test. He has refused. He told me he's not going for any medical checkup. So he's done on me right now that he definitely has something he's hiding from me. I am not here to put up with his nonsense. I am moving on with my life. I made up my mind and that's final. Wifey, 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 listen, listen, listen to me. Please, can you just calm down? All right? Okay, I'll be coming tomorrow. We're going to settle this whole thing and make it up. Okay, please. Trudy, listen to me. I do not care. I don't care. I am exhausted already. You just have to be patient, please. Just be patient. <laughs> please, okay? I beg you. It's, it, it's, it's true that is talking to you. Eh? Wifey, wifey. Don't worry, everything will be sorted out, okay? Please. Alright, I, 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 I want to hear I want to hear you laugh so that I'll cut it off. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm trying to say I'll not be carried to you. <laughs> you are, but not to this extent. You see, my brother is not getting this right. Well, the truth is everybody can never be like me. <laughs> you know I always care about you. I know. <laughs> is that what? What cracks my head is why would she even assume that there's something wrong with us? Since we got married, have I not been performing my duties as a husband? Brother, she's not insinuating anything. She only wants to be cleared and assured that the both of you pass medical tendencies of having children. That, that's the one that gets me mad. Hmm. Why in this world would she even assume there's something wrong with us? Why? Don't tell the same as your husband? Have you not been menstruating? Brother, she's a woman. Two years of childlessness is like 200 years in her sight. And that gives her the right to go telling people to come talk to me in my house about this. Really? Brother, I'm not people who... I am your younger brother. That makes us family. You are not the first person that has come to this house to discuss this, my friend. What is wrong with this woman? Why are you so desperate? I am not desperate. Point of correction. Alright? If you have any skeleton in your cupboard, you better come clean and stop beating around the bush. Okay? Yes! Oh, really? Yes! I am not going to see any doctor on this account. If you're not comfortable with waiting for God's time, that's the door. Use it. Oh, yeah? I will use it. No, I will go! I will, I will go! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 no! no, 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 no brother, please. You heard him, right? No. You heard him! It's now obvious to me that your brother's source of rights isn't genuine. Wait, 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 No! 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 So you expect me to stand there and watch her blab and insult me? No, that is why she is the woman! All they do is know how to talk. No other thing, no, 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 nothing else. Besides, you, you, are, you are the cause of this whole problem. Me? Yes, brother. How? Okay, what is there in following your woman, your wife, to the hospital for a proper medical checkup, for a proper medical test? 
What is there? Why is she overflogging this medical issue? What if I go for that test and the doctor says there's nothing wrong with me? At least her mind will be settled. As a man, you have to do what you ought to do. She doesn't need me to go to the hospital for her mind to be at rest. I am her husband and I have told her that there's nothing wrong with me. She doesn't need a doctor to tell her that. And I'll just stand there and listen to this. Oh no, no, come on, come on, wifey, no, please wait now. I have spoken to my brother. He has no right to hit you or to beat you up. You are his wife, not a punching bag. No, Chidi. He wants me to leave his house for him. That I shall do. I'll be going back to my father's house. No, no, you're going nowhere. I've made up my mind. But I'm leaving. But I'm here begging you. I'm begging you to forget about everything. Let's move on. But Chidi, he said he's not going to see any doctor or whatsoever. So the best thing for me to do right now is to move on with my life. Wifey. I'll go back to my father's house. Wifey, you're not going anywhere. And you're not moving on with any life. Okay? I promise you, I've spoken to him and he will go for the checkup. Trust me. Trudy, I'm tired. I swear to God, I'm tired. No, 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 I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Trust me. I, you know, I hate to see tears in your eyes. And I promise you, you have no reason to shed tears again in this marriage. Come on, please. Okay, it's okay. Please. 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 Don't cry. What have I done? What did I do? Like, like, tell somebody to just wake me up from this dream. Oh, God. You shouldn't wake up from the dream if you ask me. Yes. What are you saying? It's a sweet, sweet, sweet dream, baby. Would you, you're my elder brother's wife. What if he had walked into this place and caught the two of us? I know, but... There's no but. There is no but. I came to rescue my brother's marriage. I want to ruin it. <laughs> Listen to me. If you really want to rescue your brother's marriage, you should be ready for more of this experience. Would you, what, what are you even saying? Look, I came to rescue my brother's marriage. I want to ruin it. Very well then. If you really came to rescue, you should be ready for more of this experience. Sweet experience. What are you saying? <laughs> what has come over you, Ju? Oh my God! Can you stop already? Yes. <laughs> I thought by now she would have left the house before I came back. But why is she still here? Brother, why are you talking like that? Huh? Do you think it's easy to have a virtuous woman like you as a wife? You'll be grateful to God he gave you a wife like Uchu. Then why does she go on and on with this childlessness issue? In just two years, why is she so worked up? Brother, I just feel you're the one making a mountain out of this little ant hill. Yes. Go and see the doctor and leave the rest for God. What is this ridiculousness you all are going on about? Anyway, at least nobody's accusing me of being uh, 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 adulterous or infidelity or coming back home late or drunkenness. She should also be grateful she married a very, very good man like me. Brother, just try and be more romantic to your wife. Mm. What do you mean more romantic? I mean, like... Making love to her. You know? Did she tell you I don't make love to her? No, uh, no. I, 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 well, I was just um, advising, like, be more romantic to your wife. She didn't say anything like that. Oh. Now, both of you have something worrying you. Whatever it is, just keep it away from me. Okay? 
Mm. Ramon is not everything. No? You're being too busy for this woman. Be more romantic. Bring out time for your wife. She loves you. You're really now a marriage counselor, isn't it? Uh, no, it's, um, I, I was just only looking out for you, the two of you. I mean, you're being joking. Please, let me handle my wife the way I deem fit. Okay? Weeks pregnant. No. No, don't tell you. You're joking. I am not. Superman, listen, no, listen very attentively. I'm just getting back home right now from the doctor's place and he has just confirmed to me that I am six weeks gone. Hey, wow, congratulations, wifey. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear this. Congrats. Yes, baby, we made it. Oh, wow, this really calls for celebration, you know. I can't thank you enough. You're such a God sent to me. Thank you. From my heart. Thank you. Ah! Ah! What? My other brother's wife. Pregnant for me. Ridiculous. Hey! <laughs> you see that God is wonderful. I kept telling you there was nothing wrong with us. I kept telling you not to worry your head. Are you not pregnant now? Is it not confirmed? 
Did I go to see any hospital? That's how I would have wasted my money on that doctor. Babe, do you know you can present for the whole of Africa? <laughs> Wait a minute. So you actually need needed this more than me. And you've been pretending, acting like I'm the mad one, the desperate one. What name did you not call me? Honey, I was not pretending. Man. I knew we were sound. I knew nothing was wrong with us, that God was going to give us our own child Baby. at this time. Baby, why were you acting like, oh, 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 <laughs> hey, you are pushing By the so way, much. I'm going to be a father. So this calls for big celebration. Oh my God. <laughs> Baby! Go! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> Here's a check of 3 million naira for you. Go to the mall, go shopping, get anything you need to make yourself happy. This is my gift to you for getting pregnant. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> you're so sweet. It's nothing. You see, once you put to bed, I'm going to give you a bigger gift. Oh, no. No, baby. <laughs> I love you. Mm. I love, love you. you. No. You just get ready. In fact, I'm going to take you shopping myself. Keep your check. Get ready. Let me prepare. I'll take you where you need. You get anything you want. Baby. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> okay, baby. I'm ready soon. Chuy, listen to me. If there's any time for you to be happy, it should be now. All right? You should be happy. And why should I be happy? Well, you should be happy because you finally restored joy, happiness, love, and what have you in your brother's marriage. So it's a thing of joy. Happiness that is built on lies and deceit. Would you listen? Do you know that each time I play back on those times that you scream under me in ecstasy, I feel guilty. Do you know that? Oh, wow. And do you also realize that those times are the reason? I mean, those times I scream under you in ecstasy, we sneak out to make some sweet love. And the reason I'm still in this marriage, these are the things that are still keeping me in this marriage. You don't know. You really do not know what you've been doing for us. Okay. Now that you're pregnant, what will happen now? Nothing. Absolutely nothing will happen. I mean, I have a friend who has four children for her husband from different men. Nobody knows anything. She's still alive and she's still living happily with her husband. Talk more of me that is pregnant for my husband's blood brother. Same flesh and blood. Oh, wow. It still runs in the family. Still same thing. So, there's no big deal there. I see no big deal at all. Oju, you forget that I'm a man. I still have blood flowing inside of me. And I know the truth. It has nothing to do with naivety. What truth? What truth? Not like I, 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 am, I am cheating on him with an outsider. I mean, same blood. Same flesh, same thing. Listen to me, your brother has been so helpful to you. You know it. So if this is your only two way of paying him back, you should be happy you did. Listen, we no longer fight like, like cat and dog. All thanks to you. You don't know what you did for us. You are a godsend. I'm serious. Sweetheart, listen to me. I actually do miss you. <laughs> hey, 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 stop it. Stop, just, just stop it. Wait. What? It's me, it's you, me. Listen to me, darling. <laughs> wow. 
What is your problem right now? Okay, you want me to? I know what it was. Stay away from me. Judy. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> All those who turn around, who said evil things about my son, will come back. <laughs> will come back and thank God with him. Amen. And they will know that God is marvelous. He never God is wonderful. He never and that he has done it. <laughs> yes, yes. So how is my beautiful daughter-in-law? She's doing fine, Papa. Ah, well. That's my wife. She's good, Mama. And the baby in the womb? Oh, my daughter is kicking great. Ah, what on this baby? <laughs> that because I know that's what I'm grateful for. <laughs> that is a pleasant news. In fact, you have made my day with this news. Thank you, Papa. In fact, I want you both to do something for me very important. What is that? I want you to help me thank Chodi, my brother. Do you know that since Chudi stepped his feet into my house, mm -hmm. there's been peace. Mm -hmm. All the disagreements I've been having with my wife has ceased. Mm -hmm. He spoke to us, he advised us, and since then we have become Romeo and Juliet. Wow. In fact, it was in this atmosphere of love that he brought about <coughs> that the fruit of the womb came. Hey! <laughs> thank God. In fact, I will thank God for his life. After, my wife does not joke with Chudi now. Mm. Before she even serves me food, she must make sure Chudi is well taken care of. You see? <laughs> That's how much she values him in that house. You see? <laughs> one need him more. One now, my car. One now, my car. Yes, mama. One now, my car. <laughs> that, you see, they said blood is thicker than water. Exactly. Of course. Of Chudi course. has proven it. Hmm. The way he dots on my wife, makes sure everything is okay in the house, advises us when we have an issue. He's the one to bring this person and this person together and there's a talk. He always has a way of intervening and bringing peace. Hey! hey. hey. It's God now, sent. God sent. It's God sent. It's God I'm happy. Hey! Hi!
Chode. Chokode. Uh, it's morning. Wake up. Ah, ah. You're still sleeping by this time. Oh, so ah. How's the night? Ah, good morning, brother. Good morning. I used to be ceremony. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know everybody was weak after that. You'll be going back to Potaka today, right? Oh, yes. Um, I will. Um, once I just wake up, I'll just take my bath and get okay, the road. That means I'll talk to you when I get to work, when you're ready to leave. I have to rush to the office now. I have a board meeting to attend. Okay? All right, brother. Okay. All right. So have a safe trip as you go. I'll call you. Sweet heart. Hmm. <laughs> you see, last night was heaven on earth. And let me be honest with you. I do not want you to go to Potter Court again. Please, stay with us permanently. Excuse me. I already told my brother I'm leaving for Potter Court today. Sweetheart, it doesn't matter. You can just say, oh, you changed your mind, something came up. A lot of things to say, you know. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So who will help me run my office in Potter Court? Is it me you're asking? <laughs> Please, just one more night. <sighs> okay, let me make it a little bit more easier for us. That same thing that happened last night can still happen in the daytime before I hit the road. Okay, I get it. Yeah. This is you asking me to come to daddy. Honestly, this trip is very important. It's essential that I travel. Just understand and bear with me. It's just for two weeks. You, you see what I'm talking about? No, look at it. You are not a romantic man at all. No, you are not romantic. I mean, your wife is about to put to bed. To your son, your son for that matter. You want to leave me in this condition and travel? Sweethearts, listen. The only romantic man in this world is that man who can provide for his wife. Money makes love sweet and sweeter, okay? I'm not going to stay all the year out there. I'm just going for a business trip and I'll be back before you know it. Just two weeks. Let me go out there and make this money, Bikono. And leave me alone in this condition. No, you're not going to be alone. I mean, there are mates in this house. There's a security. There are people to assist you to stuff. Sweetheart. All these people you are mentioning are not going to be there when I need you. They are. They live. I could even ask Judy to come over and stay with you for the two weeks I'll be away. And I know he will oblige me that. Wow. You want to ask your brother to come? Yes. Oh, your brother should come and stay in that for you. Meaning, you should also do the other one. <laughs> Stop, Joe. I'm not talking about doing the do. I know you can endure that for two weeks. All I'm saying is that he comes around and be in the house in case there's an emergency or you get into labor in the middle of the night. That's all. You are not me, my darling. So, you wouldn't know if I need to do. Okay, what happened is this. I'm going to do enough do before I travel. <laughs> so at least you have somebody, something to hold body with. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, it is here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 now you come down now. I'm dying now. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Sorry. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, ok
To be called your wife again. Please, please forgive me. I, I traded on the wrong path, I know. Please, forgive me, please. It's all my fault, please. I beg you. There is nothing to forgive. Nothing. No, please, please. Chief will do. No, 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 please! No! Please, 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 please! No! There is please. no need living. My sins have found me out. I was on my way to this place to give your wife a third child. When I had this accident, that rendered me useless. Chifuntu. No, please. Pull the trigger! Kill me! Kill me! No, please, it's me. It's me. Kill me. Kill me. Please. 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 In the name of God. In the name of God. Kill me. Kill me. Brother, kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Forgive me. 
Thank you, Doctor. I have come to collect the test of the result I took yesterday. I hope it's ready. Of course, they are ready. Good. Um, I hope there's nothing wrong with me. Can I father a child? See, my brother, I am surprised at your result. Because I remember I told your wife to bring you for medical checkup, but you didn't come. The truth of the matter is that I won't lie to you. You are suffering from low spine cramps. Yes. That's not possible, Doctor. What are you talking about? I have erections. I make love to my wife all the time. I ejaculate every time. How can you say I have low spine cramps? My brother, I know you can. But as it stands now, you, you won't be able to produce the, the, the quantity of sperm that can get the woman pregnant. Yes, let me tell you something. There are a percentage of semen that a woman needs for her to be pregnant. Once you're not able to get it, forget it, my brother. Your wife can't get pregnant. But that's true. Um. <sighs> Doctor, does he have a cure? Of course he does. See, I will prescribe some medications for you and I'll guide you on how to go about meeting your woman. Oh, thank you so much. I believe you'll get the desired results. Thank you so much. One more thing, please. What's the cause of this? Well, most of the times it could be as a result of um, mistreated and untreated STD. You don't have to worry yourself, my brother. Everything will be fine. I have destroyed the trust by myself. I'm not worthy to stand before you. I have destroyed the trust by myself. Oh, I'm not worthy to stand before you. Because Why are you doing this? I've been trying to talk to you, but... Okay, just get into the car. Let me take you to wherever you're going. What is it? 
What is it? I, 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 I don't want you. Can't you understand? How can you say such a thing? How can you say you don't want me? I've been trying to talk to you. But you have intentionally and vehemently refused to give me attention. Why? I don't get you. Does that mean I don't have the right to choose what I want and what I don't want? Of course you have every right. But let it be something worth it. How can you say you don't want a man like me? Does it make sense? Okay, what if I'm married? Oh, no, no, Flora, you can't be married. You can't be. All I know about you is you live with your brother and the wife up the street. So how come you're married? Okay, fine. I have a serious relationship and I don't want to cheat. Does that make sense now? Oh, no. Can yeah. I go? Yes, it makes a lot of sense. But the truth is, giving out your number for if to a friend to always check up on you will not cause any harm. That is not cheating. Come on, stop looking at me like that. Please, your digits. Please. Why would you talk like that? <laughs> when I tried to get your attention, you didn't even you didn't even want to listen to me. You were the one to stop here. Very strong. Come on, you know how many times I've tried to you know talk to you, make advances at you, and you know, you reject my advances. I mean. They will not understand. A man who wants something goes for it desperately. <laughs> you will not understand. <laughs> you would. <laughs> okay. So how are you today? No, I won't have to stop you. This time around, I have to pick you up with my car and we go to somewhere very cool and cozy where we can sit down and talk. <laughs> very humble and nice one at least. Well, presently I'm out of town. I I know we are at my mother's place. I actually came to see them. But uh, most hopefully, I should be back to Potsar Point on Sunday evening. So is it a date? Okay, see you on Sunday evening then. Alright, take care of me. So why were you rejecting me when you knew you had no man in your life? Because I know the kind of heart I have. I've been heartbroken before, so I prefer staying alone, married to my dude, than get involved in another relationship that will break my heart. Dude? Yeah. Why do you do? Because I know the kind of body I have. I have high libido, so I want it around me at all times. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, I... I love the fact that you're very transparent. Yeah, I'm a very transparent person. That's why I feel very bad anytime I'm taking for granted. And I hate lies. I hate it with passion. Now, if that be the case, and that means you are with the right person. I hope you're not here to take me for granted. No, I'm not. Okay. Cheers. So what about the wives? Those wives, their husbands are outside the country. God knows I can never be there. Oh. So are you trying to say that if you get married today and your husband happens to get a very good job, good paying job abroad, you wouldn't allow him to go? 
Well, it's either we go abroad together for the job or the marriage is over. I can't be here answering a married woman when my husband is dead, flirting with girls. I can't. Once I'm married, my husband should be able to satisfy me in bed. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I, I, I actually got the drift. <laughs> okay. Sexual needs. <laughs> So read everything. So this is the end of me. My mouth cannot stand anymore. What have I got in myself? It's Sunday. 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 That's all, guy. Take me to the postman. What is 
Did what happen? <laughs> Why not in school? What are you doing here? I'm fine. I'm fine. You're tired of what? What happened now? How can I have left this? Huh? Oh, God. Oh, I'm like... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Listen to me. I know. Oh, I'm like... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look at me. Is this how a student supposed to be dressed? It's allowed. It's okay. Calm down. I know. I know. Our parents disappointed us. Okay. No, 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 no. I will be never. I will. I will not disappoint us. I will not disappoint you. No, no, no. I will make plenty money to take good care of you. Okay. I promise. Stop crying. I'm not paid my school fees. Thank oh, God. Don't worry. Other oh, students are in the classroom. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm never eating. Stop now. This is not better than your father. It's okay. I will give you, I will give you money for your school fees. Once I come back, I will give you money for your school fees. I promise. Once I come back home, I will give you money for your school fees. Okay? Just take this money. Just take this money. Go and buy bread and pure water. Just take this money. Go and buy bread and pure water. Please. Take, 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 take. Have you eaten? You know you're eating nothing, right, ba? What is our offense? No, look at you. You drop out at our school to make sure I go to school. I need people to near your uniform. Look at me, look at me. Judy. They have to sew Judy. this uniform. They Judy. have to, Judy. They have to touch stop, it. Stop, please, 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 please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm tired. Take, take, take. take. <laughs> Collect money from me, take. Don't take. Wow, what are you? Your water. ちょっと <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come, come, collect your water. What's the other thing? You go die here today. You won't cry. You don't see my mirror. You go die here today. Hey. I'm going to teach you. Judy, what happened? Laugh to you, ma. What happened? What happened? Talk to me, what happened? Talk to me! I was passing. Okay. So, she called me to say the words of her. So, so, so then what gonna happen? I don't know when I broke out to him. Which thing? Ah. Judy, why are you on me? Why are you on me? Auntie, I beg. I beg. I beg. So my younger brother did this, I beg. Forgive him, I beg. Now if you bring, uh, make yes. you bell him. Yes. Thank you. This mirror that he broke, yeah. hope you don't say that they sell a price of 500 naira. You don't want me to pay Abby? I, 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 I don't get the money like this, like this now, I beg. I don't get the money. I beg. Don't worry. I beg, no. You don't need to pay with money again. Let's say you find it worth it. You go send me that one, Abby? Ati. Ati, I beg. I beg, I never, I never, I never do this thing before. I still beg, I beg. You go live on today now. I beg, I beg. I'm still beg. I beg. I beg, I beg. I go do one today now. I beg. Mama, mama go know. She go know. I beg. Your mama and papa, I go keep it here. Your mama and papa go come here today, come baby. Or we do the other one. Auntie, see, my mama, my mama, my friend, don't even money to send us go school. Did you talk about us to bring money to come pay for this mirror? I beg now. I don't say you be a good woman. You get good hearts now. You don't get money to pay for my mirror. You don't want to do that one. No, we'll choose one now. Hi, we'll choose one. I beg now. Why like this? Now you got beg. I beg now. Oh, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Judy, Judy, I beg, I beg. It's not a small point now. Auntie, 
Please. What did she do to you? What did she do to you? Let's go, John. Stand up. Carry up here, let's go. Jesus. 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 What can I do? Bam 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 bam. Look up. Haya. Haya ya na no 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 no. Hi. Hey. Bianto. Eh? What is it? Why are you shouting? Every time I'm urinating, my thing will be pinning me. I see. I see it's on fire. Chimo. Haya. Nto. Eh? He's gonna rear. Eh? He's gonna rear. Hi. You have got that gonna rear. Nto. Me. Chimo. Gonna rear. What are you doing? What a shower girl. How you doing this? You have to treat it before it gets out of hand. You have to treat it. I don't have money. I don't have money. Can't tell me you don't have money. Look at my younger, my, my younger brother. I, I, I need to take care, care of him. I don't have money. You have to treat it. I don't have money. Yeah, I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah? This is going real now. No, no. Stop now. Stop now. You get a, you get a trade a play, which child is going to rear again? Stop now! You're going to rear, Anto. You have to go and treat it. Me, treat it, Gunoria. Yeah? Now you're going to rear, and I'm going to rear, and I'm going to rear. Which child is going to rear? Hey! I don't have money. I think I'm going to Let's go, please. Hey, yeah. Let's go, please. It was all because of you that I got into this whole mess. Now, this is how you're paying me back? Oga, I don't know what is going on. Madam just packed her bag and left the house. Oga, Judy, just jump inside the swimming pool. I just bought him out now, and he's no longer beaten. I don't know what to do, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Because 
My dear, this is not a good news at all. <sighs> this is my reality. I have practically come to the end of the road. This is the end of the road for me. Hey, Chudi, why? Why? Why would you want to ruin your own brother's marriage? I mean, what is he going to gain from it? Since he had that accident, he became a sadist, always melancholic. You made a nice decision by leaving the house for them, at least for now. Ah. Not temporarily. It's permanently. I'm not going back to that house again. <laughs> you know what? Your bags will remain in my car. You're going to be staying in my house for the main time. Thank you. But you know, I actually think... I was thinking of going to the village to go be with my mother. Going to the village, you said? What are you going to tell your mother that made you run out of your matrimonial home? What? Think about it. Slept at the hospital with Uncle Chud. I want to see my mommy. I want to see my mommy too. You'll see her. My dear, you can't continue like this. You're not the first person. Neither are you going to be the last person that I've done such. Cheer up. After all, your husband is the cause of it all. But what are you going to tell your husband? My husband will not even be back in the next three months. And you already know that all my kids are in the body school. So you have nothing to worry about. My kids. Children, they'll be missing me right now, I know. They'll be asking after me. Do not worry. We will go to their school and see them any day you want to see them. It is not the end of the world. Cheer up. To me, I don't even see a victim in what you did. Relax, girl. I'm sure you did it for the family. Everything I was doing for him was for his success. All I wanted for him was happiness and growth and establishment. Only for him to turn around and stab me in the back. Nambiko, stop crying. What your brother did is abominable. 
It's a very grievous sin. But I don't want you to see it from that angle. I want you to see it from the angle that I'm seeing it. Mama, what angle are you seeing it from? Hey, what are you going on now? I am speechless. Can't you see that this is devil's handbook? Is it not only two of you? So soon, Abu. He wants you people to fight each other so that we, your parents, will die of heartbreak. But if we should pay him back for the gravity of the sin that he has committed against you, he deserves to die. But he who kills his brother has killed his own soul. You want one nanny, Mabu, become one. It's a shame. A dirty story and as such should not be heard outside. Yes. If our enemy eventually hear of it, they will make jest of us. They will mock us. So in two balego, my son. <laughs> you must have to forgive your brother. It is going to be very hard. But you don't have any other option. Please. Let me do. Please. You see, the reason I decided to come with you to your car is that. I wouldn't want your mother to hear what I'm about to tell you now. I want to talk with you man to man. Okay, I'm listening. You see, in the olden days, when a man is unable to impregnate a wife, his nearest kinsman is called upon, paid heavily to do the job for him, on the ground that any day he tells anyone about it, he shall die. A lot of children die thinking that their supposed fathers were their real fathers. It is only a woman that can be able to tell who the real father of her child is. Think about it now. If your brother never had this accident, he would still be producing children for you. And he wouldn't know it. How much more other people? So what are you driving at? Thank you. What I am driving at is that you should not start making trouble with your brother to avoid other people hearing about it. Correct the mistake. Yes, we all make mistakes. That is why pencil have eraser. Let bygone be bygone. Oh. I've heard you, Papa. Okay. Thank you very much, my son. Drive safely, okay? Thank you. Thank you. the services of a psychologist. A psychologist? Yes. His mind needs to be worked on. With that, we could get the claims of what we're looking for. Open the gate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, why are you closing the gate behind you? Won't you let me in? Mama, I'm sorry. Will you come around? Hi. Wait, I should call my daughter. I should take permission from her before coming to her house. Come on, we can move the camera. Mama, Mama, Mama. Open the gate now, let me enter. Mama. I said, I'm sorry. It's like you're mistaken. Chelo. <laughs> this is the house. Open the gate. Mama, call her for first. Wait, I should call her on phone. Uh huh. I oh. should call her on phone. Yes. Don't worry. What is going on? Who knows? Maybe they have told her what happened. God, please go. Oh, no. No, please, God. Ah, my mother will just die of heartbreak. What have I done? Pick your call. Pick the call. Pick it. Pick up the call. Hello, Mama. Uh, would you, where are you? Mama, please, I'll call you back. Oh, I'm busy somewhere. Uh, I can't call you, you call me later. Would you? I'm at your gate now. And your gate man did not let me in. He said I should call you first. Makagin is again, Neme. At my gate. Ah, Mama. She's at St. Jude's place. Hey, Mama, please, I will direct you to where I am. So you can use Okada and come to meet me, yeah? There's no need for that. Let me can pick her up. Okay, yeah. okay Mama, hold on, eh? My, um, somebody, somebody is coming to where you are now to pick you up so she can bring you to where I am. Please, don't go anywhere. Just find somewhere and wait. She's coming now. My friend. Yes. Let me get my khaki, please. Yeah, please hurry up. Hey, uh, na biko e weni we eh? Please, is there any problem? Mama, me, I don't know. One hot afternoon, Madam come back okay. and packed her things and left. Wait, you you mean Uju is no longer living in this house? Mama, over four days now. Yeah. I never see them. Okay, four days? Mm -hmm. Hey! <sighs> what of the children? They haven't come back from school since you. Mama, hey! Call her phone over. I'm going over. Wait! <laughs> Did I go back to finish your work? Hey! If you name me I am ashamed of myself. Would you? You have disgraced me. You have disgraced your father's family. Hey! I'm very sorry for disappointing you like this. It wasn't intentional. The condition was unbearable. Miss Shonugi! Which condition that will make you to sleep with your husband's brother? Eh? How old are you in this marriage? How did you come now, Jogi? Or haven't you seen couples that are married for over 20 years without a child? Still they live happily. Here come again. Please, I'm very sorry. Forgive me. Please. You're all I have now. Please. It is better for people to mock you. Stay in your husband's house without a child than saying eh, 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 she's sleeping with her husband's brother. It's a taboo in Igbo land. Abomination. Hey! How can you see where Can you hear that? Eh? Hey! Let me meet up here. He met up here. Oh, me go, me go. Oh, him no, me go. Eh, but you live in Kadanya. Eh, can you live onko? Oh, onko jaya here. Oh, him no, me go. Oh, me go.
I have flown Chodi to Ghana to see a psychologist who would help him regain his sanity. Hey, that's very good of you, my son. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. I have finally decided to let bygones be bygones. You made a wise decision, my son. Indeed, Papa. That is why I have brought back his children. To stay with you both until he's stable and fit to take care of his kids himself. So I can go back, um, get a wife and raise my own children. Hey, Mama, Mama, please, just sit, sit, please. Yeah, you I am talking your father. I am telling you now that you will do no such thing. Eh? Why will you suffer these children for sins they know nothing about? Why? Eh? My son. Nobody will tell you that these children are not your children, my son. Even if they are to these children. I will fall back on you. I will fall back. Eh? Because no one, because. I have made up my mind, Papa. Let me get their bags from the car. I don't want to. Help me too. Going to be staying with your grandparents for now. And are you leaving us here? Daddy, I will go with you. No, I will you go. cannot come with me. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Wait, wait, wait. What of their education? You know the education in this place? It's very poor. The teachers here, they don't know anything. It's only it's and worse. They know. They did not go to NC. <coughs> They did not go to WTC. They didn't know anything. Please, I want this my children to be educated. Please, just like you. Please, my son. Your yeah, father will take care of it. Daddy! My children, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
है God, since it's your will to leave me empty-handed, let your will be done. Thank you. You are just shining anyhow. What do you expect me to do now? I need to shine now. Uh -uh. Hey, come, come, let me tell you something. You like that? Ah, you have me now. You have money. We take every money. Ah, that one is a small thing now. That's not a serious issue now. That's a small thing. What, what will he eat? What will he cost? Let me tell you, if you just bring 100,000 naira now, She'll be all yours. Just just nah, hundred thousand. Nah, nah. Just hundred thousand. Yes. Get, give me your account details. Let me make the transfer for you. Hey, give it to me. Give are you serious? Give it to me. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Zero zero mm -hmm. two two mm -hmm. three four mm -hmm. zero two eight four. What bank is that? First bank, of course. Okay. <laughs> done. You say also. Confirm it is done. Yeah, you hear me really now. Okay. Yeah, I hear me really. Ah uh ah. -uh. I've received it too. That's it. It's left in your hands now. You like Utego? Why? Ah! Why? That's why I like you so much. <laughs> you like what Utego? Chai. Hey. Nasu. Utego should go one. Nasu. She'll be yours. When we see Let good things, it's arrange it, it for me. Arrange it for me. You know what me. I can do. Why? That's why I trust you. Uh -uh. I know you. I know you. Uh -uh. You are very good at it. Oh, do Get her for me. Oh, do Get her for me. Oh, don't go. I do be saving. I will. Yes. Trust me. Trust me. With me. I will. <laughs> hey. No problem. Hey. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Hey. Ciao. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll wait. No problem. I'm waiting. I'll do how it's here. You trust you know me. What I mean. You know me now. You know me now. No problem. I'll see you later. All right. Take care. All right. Mm -hmm. Sir. She has gone no. You did not follow her. No, why would I go with her? What's it for you? Come, 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 come on. Come, huh? come sit your ass down here. Come. You're waiting for who? Me. Yes. Am I the one you're talking to? Is there another person in this room? It's just you and me. Come sit your ass down here, please. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? You're kidding, right? I don't understand. Come, listen, I paid heavily for this, oh. Huh? A hundred thousand naira is not a child's money. You paid for who? Me? No, I look like a call girl to you, right? Come on. Stop that. Don't bring that with you. What's that? that you... Come on, come on. Sit down. Let me enjoy what I paid heavily for. Paid for who? You? My friend, will you come here? Ah! It's like your mind. Eh? Listen to me. You see those filthy things you call hands? If you try to lay it again on me, I will strangle you. Ah! You're mad. Listen, listen, listen. Do not mess with me. Jesus. What is this? Listen, my money, I need my money now, now, now. Tell me to whoever you gave your money to, to collect it back. Listen, don't. Huh? Jesus. Hey! What? 
Where is it? I don't understand. Lee. Jesus, 100,000. God, what kind of life is this? If I, where is this leader of a girl? If I get to meet her, she would pay me my money now, 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 now. <laughs> Uh, Linda, please, what was the meaning of that stunt you pulled in there? What? Please, do not even act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, the stupid stunt you put in your house. And so? How dare you? Linda, no, how dare you? Wait, you want to be staying out idle in my house, eating my food, drinking my water, sleeping in my bed, watching my television. You want to live a luxury life, eh? Without contributing nothing. Let me tell you, it will not work. I mean, it won't work. So this is it. No, so this is it, right? No problem. I blame myself because I brought all this whole thing upon myself. Thank you. Pack your things and leave my house. Who cares? Look at her. She's claiming holy wedge. Or as she's cheating on her husband. Look at the idiot I'm trying to help. Just to sleep with one man and collect one letters and you want to come and claim holy holy for me. And you want to be eating my food. You are not serious. Stupid girl. Who cares? God, you are back. 
least you have to see things for yourself in the village. You forget? You can compare a contractor life in the city and life in the village in kitchen. And I'm going to get a man. 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 No le ba ne ma ka muchi 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 biko me ya ka iju bo biko ana agwa gi man no na eni enu no ina tago no ana agwa unu oku ana agwa unu onwa to oku unu ama nji tu na ni ife I'm trying. Yeah. You are tired at the beginning. I'm not tired. I'm, I'm trying. You are trying. Please. You are trying. Because one more law of Puma. I mean that you are still in the city now. You just send money for me. I will look for workers and do it. Do that thing very well. stage is what we call the acceptance stage. You see, anybody that eventually graduates to this acceptance stage will finally get out of any change that has befallen him. But the problem is that a lot of people, a lot of victims, are usually unable to come out of negotiation stage. They can't forgive themselves. They keep trying to negotiate with something that has happened. Unfortunately, you cannot negotiate with the past. They keep asking themselves, why did I go out that day? Why did I even pick that call? Why did she even call me? What if somebody had stopped her from calling me? What if my car couldn't start on that very morning? Why this, why that? Negotiation. Trying to negotiate with something that is gone. Because it is gone and it is in the past, they cannot get that negotiation. They end up killing themselves because they end up in depression, committing suicide. You cannot negotiate with the past. But if you are able to graduate from that negotiation stage to acceptance stage, accepting what has already happened, knowing that there's nothing you can do about it, it has happened, it has happened. Yes, 
My father has died. Yes, I am not crippled. Yes, the accident happened. Yes, you accept it in your mind that it has happened. Then you can forgive yourself. Then you can fold your head to the last stage, which is what we call the faith stage. The faith stage is all about believing in yourself, keeping hope alive, that one day, somehow, a miracle will take place. Of course, I've seen blind eyes open. I've seen the cripple walk out of wheelchairs. I've seen deaf ears open. And I've seen the dumb talk again. Believing that someday a miracle will happen. And you would live your normal life again. Take your coffee. I have destroyed the trust by myself. I'm not worthy to stand before you. I have destroyed the trust by myself. Oh, I'm not worthy to stand before you. Become a remorse. Please forgive me. Become a Papa. <laughs> so you can walk. Yes. Papa, it's me, your son. Hey, you cannot do the chin. You can walk. Yes, you cannot do the chin. Hey, the glory. Yes. Hey, church. Thank you. You can walk. Yes. <sighs> Mama, you can't Mama, let me let me, no, let me carry it for you. Let me carry it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Oh, hey. Mama, how are you? I it. Oh, oh, my God. God. There's no one to be blamed. <laughs> Hey, thank God. Let his name be praised. Eh? Let the name of Almighty God be praised. Who remembered us in a low estate? To him alone be all the praises for having restored our son's health. It can only be him. Hmm? Papa. Hmm? Mama. Mm -hmm. My recovery will not be complete if I don't get the forgiveness of my brother. If brother too doesn't forgive me, of what he uses my recovery, I need to be assured that he has forgiven me. I need to know that my brother has forgiven me. You have nothing to worry about. He has already forgiven you. Eh? My son, he has forgiven you. Okay? Eh? okay he has forgiven you. 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 I need to confirm that myself. Mm.
Why did you bring them back here? We have a surprise for you. I'm sorry. I'm not worthy to be called your brother anymore. Because I've sinned against you and against God. I hurt you in so many ways that I'm not even worthy to be forgiven. Brother, all I ask for it's just a second chance. Just one second chance. To show you how much I appreciate you as my brother, my elder brother. To show you how grateful I am for putting, for putting a meaning, making a meaning out of my life. Please, brother, I beg you. If you don't forgive me, this my life is it's not worth living again. To get her drunk, so I needed to just do this job to, to be able to raise some cash. Please forgive me. 
Please, for the sake of God and for the sake of our children, forgive me, please. 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 You know what? Um, we have to leave this place now. You're done with this job. Just go. Mama, you don't go. No, can I go? Don't work. Ah, Mama. Hey. Don't know what to do. Come, they carry a four I want to go Sorry for everything. I mean, if I'd listened to you all this while and followed you to see the doctor, all this wouldn't have happened. Baby, you don't have to worry yourself again. It's all in the past now. I believe we've all learned our lessons. Please, just let it go. Yeah, I will. The doctor has confirmed um, it's low sperm count. As a result of an infection I contracted many years ago and I didn't treat properly. But he says we have commenced treatment and in no time I'll be fit again. I hope so, baby. Trust me. <laughs> I'll give you a heart heart. Come One, do you want? I want a girl. I want a boy. A girl, boy. That's yeah. okay. That's okay right now. That's okay. You want a girl? Yes. And you want a boy? Yes. Okay. Mommy is going to give birth to twins. Wow. Meaning a boy and a girl. Twins. So you will have your girl and you will have your boy. Twins. Yes. I can't wait, wait mom. That's the title then. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Chief Pintu, I told you. I told you, congratulations. Yeah, she had twins, a boy and a girl. <laughs> no, uh, see, forget about what you will do for me. <laughs> don't worry, forget about the cow, forget about whatever you want to do for me. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Alright, alright, see you soon. Alright. Come here, come here, come here. Oh. How are you? We are oh, you're, fine. You're all grown. Where's 
press Daddy and Mommy. Yeah, inside. Okay, good. Um, I, you come and show me to where Daddy and Mommy is. Okay. okay. Uh, first of all, say hi to Auntie Sophia. Good day, Auntie Sophia. How are you? Hi, Auntie Sophia. Hi, how are you? How are you I'm doing? fine. Thank you. This is my little angel. Okay, just show me to where Daddy and Mommy is. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, we we have decided to get married. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. And that's why we came to see you. <laughs> well, this is good news. I'm so happy that uh, after being together for all these years, you both eventually ended up together through thick and thin. It's a thing of joy to me, and I wish you the best in your marital life. Thank you. Have you told Papa and Mama? Uh, no, we haven't. We decided to come and see you first. But from here, we're driving down to the village to officially inform them. Oh, that's amazing. Whatever be the case, let me know. We'll agree upon a date, and when it's fixed, uh, I will take care of all the expense. Just draft the budget and send that across. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. It's nothing. You're, You're my brother. Lord, for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, really my appreciate. darling. Congratulations once again. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Say 